What's up guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over the best budget cards in NBA 2K21 My Team. Before we do get into the video, make sure to smash that like button because the more likes we do get on this video, the more giveaways we're doing on Twitter. Also, I am buying and selling MT on Instagram and Twitter. So if you do need MT, make sure to hit me up. We got very, very fast service. So if you guys need quick MT, hit me up ASAP. Um, but yeah, we're going to go over pretty much like the top 10 budget ballers in the game right now. For I would say under 20 to 15K. So uh, let's get on to a number one. Boris Tiao, guys. This guy's a G. If you guys play TT online, I feel like I see him in almost every single game. And he's 6'8", small forward, power forward. He is a little slow, but yo, his shooting stats are fire. His jump shot's fire. And I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys get this card. Um, 85 standing dunk, 80, uh, 75 driving dunk is also solid. His defense isn't the best, though. But offensively, for the price, it is a beast. 69 speed with ball, 72 speed. Okay. But... This card is a beast, I promise you. Uh, he also has 15 gold, 15 silver, one Hall of Fame. This card is about, what, 15K? So uh, definitely scoop this card. Boris Diaw is a G, especially if you're trying to build a budget squad. I would say this squad I'm about to show you is going to be under 100K MT total, which is nothing. So definitely try out this card. I think he's a beast. I love using him. Obviously, Giannis is better than him, but he can shoot. Giannis can. So Boris Diaw is a beast. We're going to get into the next card. Michael, Cooper, Amethyst, Idols, whatever you want to say. This guy's insane. Why do I say he's insane? Well, only thing I can say is not insane is 6'5 with shooting guard. But honestly, it's fine. Uh, but 80 offense, which is pretty good, and 96 defense. I'm going to show you one highlight. Hall of Fame clamps. I don't think one player in this game is Hall of Fame clamps. So that's the one thing I want to say. On defense, G. He's only 10 KMT, guys. So... Here we go. Three-point shot, 83. 80 mid-range. Uh, driving dunk, 84. Passing's not the best, but steal and perimeter, 95, 85, guys. This card right here will change your game. If you guys need clutch defense, in which, first off, no one has defense really in this game, besides, like, him and Giannis right now. Uh, there's really no OP, OP defenders other than this this card, Giannis, and, like, the Kemi Mutombo. This card right here, perimeter defense-wise, is going to clamp any shooting guard out there. So if you want... If you have, if you're constantly versed like Mount Ginobili, Beast on offense, and like, let's say, Kevin Durant or Dominique Wilkins, this card is the, for you. This card is going to change the game. So definitely try to pick them up for around 10,000 MT. So let's get right into the auction. I actually want to show you one more card, yo. It's before I do get into the auction, and it's Stefan Jackson. He is an absolute animal. He's super cheap. First off, he's 6'8". He's a shooting guard. Small forward, I believe. No, small forward, power forward. Stephon Jackson, or Steven Jackson, however you say it. Um, Three-point shot, 84. 84 mid-range. And this is also comparing him to Boris Dia. Okay. Um, driving layup, 82. Driving dunk, 85. So he is a better shooter than Boris Dia. He is the same height as Boris Diaw. He's also a lot cheaper than Boris Diaw. And overall, he's better than Boris Diaw with an 85 driving dunk as well. He has better perimeter and steel. He also has, he doesn't have the best rebounding, but he's also a lot faster than Diaw. So realistically, this card is, I guess, better if you do play small forward. Boris Diaw is more of a power forward. Steven Jackson is more of a small forward. And honestly, for the value of this card, this guy's a beast. And honestly, I did drop gameplay with if you want to check it out. Only thing Boris Diaw does have is the badges, but this card is a beast. Believe me, if you didn't check it out, Check out my gameplay with him. It's one of my insane hidden pink diamond cards. This card is a beast. Honestly, he's a beast. And uh, next card we're going to get into, guys, Patty Mills, the GOAT. Yo, this card is a beast. He is literally a cheap, cheap John Stockton without the defense, of course. Um, so this is the way I see this card. So I'm going to compare him to Deron Williams, okay? We're going to compare him to Deron Williams because I just want to show you how good his offense is compared to Deron Williams. Obviously, the defense isn't there, but realistically, almost every point guard in the game doesn't have defense other than John Stockton. So let's get into it. Three-point shot, 88, okay? 88 mid-range. He is almost the same stats as him. And not only that, his jump shot's butter. He has Wade's base, okay? He has Wade's from 2K20's base, yes, last year. So 
Looking at it, ball handles, pass IQ, it's, it's for every point guard. Okay, his defense is trash. But what I have to say is his shooting for his price is outstanding. He's like 3 KMT. So definitely try to scoop this card. He also has 90 speed, 90 speed with ball. 24 gold bat is more than Deron Williams, guys. This card is a stud, okay? Definitely try out Patty Mills. I think he's 110% worth it. Wait, maybe he doesn't have 24 gold badges. Maybe it's lagging. But Patty Mills, man, is definitely a GOAT. Definitely try to scoop him up. Um, I don't know what's going on with this lag, but it says that he's 24. I don't think he does. But, yo, I'm telling you right now, Patty Mills is definitely up there, guys. Definitely try out the man, Patty Mills. And, honestly, we're going to get right into the auction. Actually, before we do that, I found one more player that is an absolute goat and it's brian scalabrine bro the goat brian scalabrine he is a money jump shot his mid-range is absolutely incredible he also could dunk with a 75 and 75 yes yes his defense is not the best but speed see this is why i like this card there's not a lot of stretch players in this game this guy's gonna be able to stretch the floor for around 3000 mt if you think about that so for 3000 mt this guy right here is gonna stretch the floor that is absolutely insane so make sure to use the man brian scalabrine let me know how he goes let's get right into the auction without further ado we're just going to go over some at this cards that i did see on the auction for pretty much under twenty thousand mc honestly willis reed isn't a bad card he just can't really shoot that well honestly i feel like budget cards that can shoot is definitely a lot better than budget cards that really can't shoot you know so um that's definitely one of them i guess we should go over a budget center uh, let's check out the Ruby. Tyson Chandler is a pretty good defensive budget center, not gonna lie. This card's pretty damn good. Yeah, he can't shoot for shit, but he's 7-1. He has a great dunk, and he honestly is insane in defense. So if you guys want, you have the MT for Tyson Chandler. He's definitely a very, 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 very good buy. And then we got Eric Gordon, guys. This guy's a 90 offense, 84 defense. This is a very good card. Very cheap. 93 three-point shot, 84 mid-range. Driving dunk 70. So, he's also 6'4", so that kind of does suck, but he can play shooting guard, so I guess it's not the worst. Maybe point guard would be better, but yo, defensively, not the worst. Not the worst at all. I wonder if this card is range extender. I don't think he does. He has silver range extender, so this Eric Gordon card is honestly very interesting. Very cheap, but very interesting, guys. Definitely try to get your hands on a Ruby Eric Gordon. Honestly, I definitely recommend the card. Um very 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 good card next card man ray allen if you guys don't know it's ray allen he's gonna be able to shoot he's gonna be able to play decent defense and this card can't dunk but he can wide open uh, i think he has a range extender no range extender for ray allen but he will end up getting ray allen only thing i don't like about this card is most definitely the steady shooter and honestly let's get into more honestly i'm gonna show you this card this budget card right here carl anthony towns man this card right here is a budget beast and I'm telling you right now, I don't know why, but I use him still. Like, I literally use him. I throw him in once in a while. This card right here is an animal. Trust me on this. I trust me. If you are new to my team, you need a center. Call on any talent your guy. He has a money jump shot. He can somewhat shoot the three. He can shoot the mid. I green the mid with him every single time. Definitely try to get him. I need you to get Carl Anthony Towns. He's an animal. And honestly, we're going to get into the next one, guys. This card... We're going to show you two more cards before we do end of the video, and it's James Harden, okay? I probably did miss a couple bunch of ballers, but yo, James Harden, I'm telling you right now, yes, he doesn't have the badges. It's just James Harden. His dribble moves are incredible. Definitely try to use him for the dribble moves. I'm telling you, his dribble moves are there. I don't know. I just like the card. I played with him a couple times. You could easily snipe him out on the Amethyst 20 filter that I did show you guys. And one last card, guys. It's the GOAT. It's the MVP. Back-to-back -back MVP um Giannis he just changes the game like realistically yeah I know his stats aren't good but guys it's Giannis Antetokounmpo um his jump shot's really good from the mid-range he's gonna dunk on everybody yes he's not the fastest this is definitely not his best card but for budget ballers this card is most definitely it guys I'm telling you I use him all year his price dropped he's around 20,000 MT now so guys definitely scoop him up let me know how he plays for you guys. That's really all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a go on. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. Links down below for the cheapest, fastest, reliable MT on the internet right now.